Good news from Garrett. We're happy to announce the release of new Vortex VX9 firmware, version 2.07, which is not only a free update, but it offers significant improvements. As with any software update, there are minor enhancements that are not as readily apparent. On the high level, here are some of the big improvements. Updates and improvements to iron filters, including adjustments to the iron boundary settings. Increased detection depth on high conductors, such as silver coins, both in multi-frequency and single frequency operation. Improved battery charging times. Improved target ID in multi-frequency operation, especially for high conductors as well as better ID separation across the entire conductivity range. I'll talk more on that in just a moment. Also, upgrades to notch discrimination adjustments, allowing you to see the actual numeric target ID range of what you're notching. And updates and improvements to ground balance functionality. All right, with this firmware 207, I'm gonna show you just a couple of quick demos. Uh, we've got a couple of coins, I'll just show you the uh, target ID separation, and then we've got some nails, some ferrous targets, and we'll show you just a little bit on the iron filters here. So I'll show you my settings before we get going. I'm in standard mode, multi-frequency, so I've got a little bit of iron to scrim already in play. My speed is one. Tones are five. 27 is what you have with standard on the iron to scrim. Bottle caps at zero. Iron boundaries at zero. I'll start by going over this uh, old nail. We've got several old dug nails down here. Showing about a 16, but of course it's silent. Now what I want to do is add a coin target to it. So I've just got just a regular nickel I'm going to add to it. Put it off to the side of the nail there and go back over it. So right there in the iron, easily picking it up with no iron boundary set, I've got my nickel target. So let me add some more nails to it, see if we can still pick it up. Throw another long one over here, right beside it. Couple nails there, still getting a good response. Let's throw in another guy over here, I mean off to the side of it. Still getting a pretty good response there in the 60s, so even in all those nails, I would definitely stop and investigate that. There's another one, throwing a fourth nail over there. I got four of them, bullseye going around that thing. Still getting the pip there in the 60s, and if I pull this nickel up, bunch of iron going on there, but it's silent. So it's definitely picking up the nickel, occasional pop there. But when you throw the coin back in, Oh, my little nail moved on me, stick it back where it was. Got an investigatable target right there. Now if I went and put the iron boundary on, let's say one or something, go back over it. Getting an even better response. Now can I get it from another direction? Still getting a pretty good blip. So going all the way around that, I've still definitely got a very good target that I would investigate in the middle of all that iron. So the iron separation, the iron boundary, uh, the improvements on the filters are really good on this new version. Okay, so I'm still in standard multi-frequency, iron boundary at zero. We've got a couple boards here, so I'm gonna put our nickel back on the board. Actually, I'll scan over it. Nothing there, so let's put the nickel down on the board. good 52 reading. Now we're going to elevate a nail above it. I'll bring in this little square nail we had before and go back over it with iron boundary on zero. You're getting a blended response, which is 62-63. That's the combo of those two elements together. But that's inch and a half or so uh, elevated above that uh, nickel. 
So even in that tricky situation, you're getting a good number that's pinging up into the 60s. That's showing you these great iron filters. Let's actually add another little piece of iron down on the lower level, down at the elevation where the coin is, as if there's a bunch of nails down on this dirt. I also mentioned that firmware 2.07 has better target ID separation, especially in the high conductors. So on this board, I've dropped on a, a dime and a silver quarter. So let's take a look at that. So there are a few sample targets that we scanned. You know, the point is the new target ID separation in multi-frequency is impressive. I quickly mentioned the faster battery charging time, but let me offer a little more detail here. As with many electronic products, it is recommended to charge your new Vortex overnight before its first use. This will improve the accuracy of the charge indicator. After upgrading to version 2.07, your detector will fully charge in about two to three hours if a 10 watt, two amp or greater charger is used. If you are currently running a Garrett Vortex VX9, I strongly encourage you to visit Garrett Direct and download this free important update. Good luck and happy hunting.